Hello there escapers, my name is Xenobilius and before we go any further I want to remind you about the straw poll which is only gonna be in contention for the next day or two and that straw poll is in the comment section below so please go and vote for the top 5 boss collections you think I should do alongside getting insane final boss. Chances are if I go dry at a certain boss I will automatically complete some of the collections but others I may not automatically complete unless I keep camping the boss until I get all of them so you can choose as many as you want but I will pick the top five and I'll be picking it just before the first episode of Insane Final Boss is made so yeah please go there and vote I haven't included a few bosses that I'm already doing series for but everything else should be there so now that's out the way I'm with my old uh, well the newest member of my spider pet collection bill and I am about to do something that just crossed my mind recently so I was thinking what can I do to start afresh for my insane final boss series I don't want to spoil it for you guys because I'm going to mention the other goals and requirements and achievements I want to get alongside insane final boss uh, in episode one but one of the many things I want to do is start a drop log and I realized that without even thinking about it i had been gathering a drop log over many many years nothing too rigorous in terms of counting every single drop and things like that but I never really sold any of it except when I really needed the money so let's go have a look without further ado what that drop log is you might have seen it in quite a few of my videos and this is the first time I'm using the GE here wow okay anyway let's have a look shall we I've emptied my money pouch so I'm all set for this this is my drop log so I organized it a very long time ago I don't know how long exactly I think it's been like three years since I started gathering this at least but like I said it's nothing too rigorous and I do dip in and out of it as I see fit and I use these logs for fire making for example I use these herbs sometimes for herb law what else obviously these onyxes get used quite a lot I'm not even sure how I have 38 of them I should have like zero all the time and yeah quite a few other things as well so this is the main part of the drop log of the uh, PVM loot tab this is all the nitty-gritty stuff all my next items from my Dota Even Next Pro series, which I'm not allowed to sell, so they've been stuck in my bank for like four years. Uh, until I get the Pony Saps, I won't be able to sell them. My Araxel stuff, uh, so as you can see, I have way too many middles. And then stuff I get from bonfires, which I count as PVM, because I only do fire making when I'm waiting for a team or something like that. So, and then you have all the Acto. Um, so that's like taking up too much space. I need to figure out what to do with it. I might get rid of it. I might not. But for this video, I'm going to be selling everything that is tradable from here, except for my next items and my Araxor items and the untradables, of course. So that is the goal. I'm really interested to see how much that amounts to. And by doing that, I will not only make a ton of money, which I can pay death with when I die, but also I will be clearing out my bank in readiness for the Insane Final Boss series where I'm, where I'm going to be collecting all of this. So I'm going to leave one item here, one, one of each item here just as a placeholder. But yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. Oh, there are a few items which aren't in the loot tab, such as runes that I get from monsters, which are in this tab, but I'm not going to include those pouches in this tab and this tab and some farming stuff any potions i get will go into this tab so i'm not going to include those but apart from that mostly everything should be here at this point i guess it's customary for people to put in some nice music show them selling all the stuff in fast forward and then cut back in at the end that's not what i'm gonna do because i'm gonna save you the boredom of watching that but it damn well wasn't boring for me, I'll tell you that much guys. I was so excited like a kid in a candy store just discovering that he owned it and he didn't even realise. It was amazing for me because this is the first time I've done this since May 2013 which by the way happens to still be the most viewed video on our channel. It took me like an hour to make. It wasn't even meant to be like a video I was going to make until the last minute and it turns out to have got 335k views. So that was a bit of a surprise. I only made like 75 mil there. Let's see how much I make here. And remember that I have already sold a lot of the unique PVM items. So 
This is not a rigorous loot video by any means, but at the same time it gives you an idea of how much you can make if you pick up all your drops from Slayer and Bossing, all your side drops, and if you don't die, it will also remind you of how much more I could have made. Oh lord, just uh, reminding myself of those horrible, horrible times that I've died and ended up in death's office and not been able to afford the payments. Those were dark days. They still are dark days. Not quite as dark as that time I didn't pick up the Eddie pet. And no matter how much I pay, I will never be able to buy it back. The only way I'm going to get it is by spending Slayer points to get Eddie tasks and capping the hell out of that. Why did I just digress? I have no idea. But anyway, back on point. Let's see what we made. Okay, I'm only going to sell 250 of these because um, that will mean I'm going to get to the magical figure of 1337 mil by almost selling all of it, but not quite. But bloody hell, I did not expect it to be worth that much. I guess that's what happens when you don't sell your loot tab, except for the main drops. You just build up your loot tab for such a long time and then you realize maybe this might be a good time to sell it, seeing as I haven't really got a plan for it otherwise. Um, so that was my thinking and boy did it pay off. So let's have a look at the loot tab. Um, so like I said, I've sold everything except the main PVM drops, untradable ones as well. And yeah, I think I've sold every Oh. Oh, what's that Dorman ZGS doing here? What? Oh, that's a merch. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that should not have been there. And so is this. So spoiler alert for the next episode of um, A Road to One Bill from the G. I think 25 of these might be from drops. So I'm going to take out 25. But the rest is a merch. Oh, that's exactly 25 spaces. So that should be it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, blood necklace shard i'm going to keep that as a as a reminder of my eddie pet so i'm just going to keep that see how many i get before i get the eddie pet if at all uh cooked illegate i'm going to use that as food so i'll just drop it right there so everything else has been sold uh, apart from the stuff i just mentioned and i got 1337 mil how much are the drops that I'm not willing to sell worth? Well, let's do a quick calculation. So leg pieces are worth about 45 mil as we speak. I believe the web and the eye are worthless, but the fang is worth 100 mil. So that makes uh, about 400, 415 mil right there from our axle. Uh, as for the next items, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'd estimate around 300 mil to 400 mil, something like that. So uh, that's how much I can add on. So I guess what well, you can add another 750 mil to my total. If you do that, that comes up to almost max cash. Now remember that apart from the next items and the Araxa items I have here, I have been selling all of them as I've been going along, all the major drops from bosses. Um, so this tab is basically all the side drops from bosses. The amount you see in my money pouch right now is the sum of all my side drop accumulation. Take away say 500 mil uh, for stuff that I sold or used up. For example, all the onyxes I used up, uh, stuff I sold in an emergency for double XP supplies and whatnot and uh, yeah that is pretty crazy Slayer is awesome 120 Slayer got me this as much as doing bossing did and uh, you gotta remember I don't do any of the lucrative bosses not right now anyway I didn't when I was making this video I barely ever did AOD barely ever did Telos in fact I lost so much money at Telos because I'm so bad and the only bosses I did for a while were Araxor, Raids, and Nex. And obviously I can't sell the Nex items. Got a separate series for that. But holy freaking Christ. That is a lot of money. 1337 mil. If I sell these, actually let me just sell them. I know that looks good, but I got I just gotta sell it. Forgot to sell these palm seeds. And yeah. So yeah, I mean it's by no means an indication of all the money I've made, but it is an indication of most of the side drops I've made. So like I said, if you add another, say, 500 mil to that over the last two or three years, that's how much I've made from side drops. Now, I'm so tempted to sell my next tab, but I got to resist until I get those Pernix chaps. I have been going to next, uh, so hopefully I'll get it soon. And yeah, this is going to be what I start my Insane Fireball series with. So tempted to sell that and get 2147 mil because I've never had that much money in my money pouch. So it'd be nice to get max cash stack in my money pouch, but I'm going to resist. So I'd say the stuff 
left in here it's probably worth uh what one bill 900 mil to one bill including the extra actor that i can uh, get money off so i could buy myself a staff of sliske with all this but i definitely couldn't still couldn't buy myself a blue party hat which was my goal in my old series i think it's like 20 to 20 bill plus no one really knows how much it is i believe so that is it for this video a very pleasant surprise for me i've got some really really exciting news for you guys for episode one so stay tuned i'm editing it and it should be out this weekend so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh please vote in the poll below and also okay i just i just had an idea for a competition all right how many blood necklace shards do you think i will get before i get my eddie pet again let me rephrase before i pick up my eddie pet again i don't know which whether i'm gonna pick it up even if i get it next time so once i do get it the closest uh, guess wins so post it down below it'll forever be in the comment section of this video when i come back in 100 years to see who guessed it closest um you may win a prize so um yeah you may win all of them in fact so have a guess and uh, we'll see what happens guys we'll see what happens